Hello everyone, Dean Dwyer with you for another Bible Bites video series. Our question for today is why did Jesus wait until he was 30 in order to begin his public ministry? Well, first of all, let's establish the fact that he was around 30 years of age when he began his public ministry. We need to be able to affirm that from Scripture and we can do so in Luke 3.23. It says this, now Jesus himself began his ministry at about 30 years of age. Remember as well from our previous video that in order for Jesus to fulfill the law, he had to obey the law. So why age 30? Well, Jesus is prophet, priest and king. In fact, the scriptures declare him to be the great high priest. Numbers 4, 1 through 3 declares this. Then the Lord spoke to Moses and Aaron saying, take a census of the sons of Kohath from among the children of Levi, by their families, by their father's house, from 30 years old and above, even to 50 years old, all who enter the service to do the work in the tabernacle of meeting. Now, that passage is referring to the age of the sons of Kohath, but it also relates to the sons of Gershon, to Merari and Levi, which you can learn later on in that same Numbers 4 passage. Well, it repeats the same age range over and over again if you read Numbers 4, 30 to 50 years old. Now, often people ask as well, why did God cap it at 50 years old? Well, you need to remember that the work of the priests, unlike what we would say the workload of our pastors or priests are in this age, the work of the priests back in those ages, those times, was a very physical and demanding job because they had lots of physical aspects, particularly in terms of the sacrifices, herding livestock, bringing livestock in, and so on and so forth. But that's a separate question. We might touch on that in more detail another day. Now, people, there are a lot of people out there who look for contradictions in the Bible, and this is one particular way, uh, one particular verse, where people think they've found a contradiction, because we go over to Numbers 8.23, and we read this. Then the Lord spoke to Moses, saying, This is what pertains to the Levites. From 25 years old and above, no one may enter to perform service in the work of the tabernacle of meeting. And at the age of 50 years, they must cease performing this work and shall work no more. So we remember back in Numbers 4, it says 30 to 50. And now all of a sudden in Numbers 8, it says 25 to 50. So those who look for contradictions in the Bible... They congratulate themselves and they say, look, the Bible can't be right. The, can't, the Bible can't be infallible if there's all these contradictions in the Bible. Well, there's a logical explanation. And the most logical explanation is that there was a five-year apprenticeship served. After all, the duties that were to be performed by a priest were very, very precise. If you read the Bible, you read the description of what the priests had to do, how the tabernacle was set up, how all of the instruments were to be made and used, it is incredibly precise according to God's way. And so they needed time to learn all of this. You can't just turn 30 and all of a sudden know all of the elements that go into priestly service. So that's our most logical explanation is that from age 25, there would have been a five-year apprenticeship served and they were then ready to commit and spend time in the work of the priests from age 30. It's much like a building apprenticeship. Take, for example, builders, carpenters and the like. You don't just go straight from high school and get a building license. You need to serve an apprenticeship under a builder, carpenter, plumber, many other trades. You serve your apprenticeship, you learn the skills of the trade, and then you get your full license and you're able to go into your chosen field. Well, why did Jesus wait until he was 30 in order to conduct his public ministry? Well, it's recorded in the scriptures that it would be so. And Jesus, being the word become flesh, would not go against anything contained in the scriptures. Everything Jesus did was not haphazard. It wasn't without planning. Every action in his life had a purpose. And that purpose was to glorify God and bring salvation to mankind. And we praise his great and wonderful name that he did so.